Hi everybody, I am Chandrasekhar. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the basics of Bash Shell. Unix and Unix-like operating systems have become widely popular over the last four decades. Today we see them in the avatar of Linux, FreeBSD, NetBSD, Mac OS X and so on. While most of us are pretty much comfortable with the graphical user interfaces on most of these OSs, using the shell effectively has been a challenge. So in this video, I am going to introduce you to the underlying shell concepts. Let's get started. First, I should tell you that when you log into a system or when you bring up a terminal, you are greeted with a shell prompt. A shell prompt looks more or less in the way that you see here. We can most of the Unixes print a dollar prompt. In some Unixes, instead of a dollar prompt, you might see a percentage sign. You know, you'll see a percentage symbol like this. Or if you're logged in as a root user or super user, you might see a hash prompt. Let me warn you one thing. If you're new to the shell, I recommend you not to log in as root user in the first place because you can hurt yourself very quickly. You might cause more harm to the system if you do not know about the commands that you are using. Anyways, having logged in as a normal share, normal user, some things, some very basic commands I should tell you right now is there are different variants of Unix. We have Mac OS X, we have FreeBSD, NetBSD, QNX, Linux and so on. How do you find out which kind of Unix you are working on or which distribution of Unix or which flavor of Unix you are working on? One way to find that out is by using a command called uname. uname on my machine shows Darwin which is nothing but the kernel that powers the Mac OS X operating system. If you are running on a Linux platform, you might rather see Linux or if you are running on a Solaris platform, you might either see Solaris or SunOS. The next command I should also tell you is about another command called arc. Arc tells you the machine architecture on which your, your Unix operating system is running. The machine architecture here shows as i386, which is an Intel 386 compliant architecture, which might include your Pentium, Pentium Pro, Core i7, Core i5, all of these modern Intel class processors. However, if you just say uname minus A, you get a more detailed information. It tells you the operating system kernel name. It tells you the host name of your system. It tells you the release version of the kernel or the operating system in general. Then again, the complete release information about the operating system kernel that you see here. You may also see the timestamp, release timestamp, and uh, you might see other artifacts, mostly to do with the architecture, the machine, host machine compliance. I can also see the uh, CPU architecture and any other relevant information, the operating system name. The contents might vary from one Unix flavor to another, but more or less you will at least be able to see the host name, the operating system release and release date. All right, you can say uname minus m to find out the machine architecture. You can say uname minus n to see the host name. The next command I should tell you is called host name. Host name and uname minus name, uname minus n are both the same. They tell you the system's host name. Likewise, if at all you want to find out as what user you have logged in as onto your Unix box, you can type the command who am I. I have logged in as a user called Chandrasekhar. You might be logged in as different users. In most modern Unix com Unix like operating systems like Linux, you could also use a command called id minus un, which is a more much shorthand notation to find out as what user you are logged in. However, if you simply say id without any switches, it gives you more detailed information. It tells you the UID, the GID, the groups you belong to. And the appropriate numbers, the UID number, GID number, and the numbers for all the groups that you belong to, right? All right. The next command I should tell you is about who command, which tells you the list of users logged into the system. This is a traditional Unix command. The modern Unixes, or let's say Linux platform, you could also type W. W is more detailed than who. What it tells you is the system uptime to begin with. This tells you the system uptime. It also tells you how many users are logged in and the load average of the system, the system load average. It also tells you information about user who have logged in from the terminal. If there's a remote login, it'll tell you from which particular IP address a login has occurred. If people are connected via SSH, Telnet, or any other remote connectivity systems, you know, kind of remote connectivity options. Um, it also tells you about when did the user logged in, how long he's been idle, and what is the command that the user is running. So this is more detailed than com compared to the older legacy who command. 
modern generation if you just want to find out the health of your system very quickly one quick way to find out is by typing w command at least it'll tell you your load load tell you the system's load average and also about the number of users who are locked in the next thing i would also tell you is about the shell which shell you're running on right now you have a, you see a shell prompt the shell that is currently uh, being uh, configured on my machine is bash shell bash stands for born again shell what is born again shell the earliest unixes had a shell written by stephen born it's known as born shell later unixes had variants of born shell rather descendants of born shell the two familiar variants were csh the csh which is written by bill joy another one was corn shell or ksh written by david corn born again shell is a free software foundations project and this shell has become pretty prominently used in the modern version of unix and linux platforms one of the advantage of bash shell is it supports very nice interesting shell shortcuts first and foremost i should tell you how to find out the shell one way to find that out is you can say echo dollar shell though this might not give you the real truth about the shell you're running on in most unixes this should be good enough at least it tells you which is your login shell which says it's bash next i'm going to tell you a little bit about shell shortcuts what you type in the shell prompt you can type any commands in the shell prompt assuming there's some kind of string that you typed i'm going to tell you how to perform some very basic line editing you can say control a to go to the beginning of the prompt or you can say control e to go to the end of the line you can say control a control k to kill a line this is known as control k is known as kill till the end of line let me give you another simple example let me type some string here i say control a it goes to the beginning i can type something i can say control e go to the end i can type something else i can type control u control u will clear to the beginning of line so when you type any string and assuming that you have your cursor somewhere around here the moment you say control u from the current cursor till the beginning is deleted however if you use control k it will kill to the end of line kills to the end of line right you can also say control y to paste what you killed before which means anything that you actually try to remove by using either control k or control u is copied into the clipboard which the shell maintains this will be pasted back when you type control y which is a very basic way of using cut copy paste mechanisms at the shell prompt and the next thing i should tell you is about clearing the screen most of us we have the habit of typing clear to clear the screen on unix or some unix as they people even type clr or cls it varies but on if you're running on bash shell you don't have to try try all that assuming that i have run some couple of commands if you want to clear the screen all you need to do is type control l the advantage with control l is as you're typing some contents you're typing something the moment i type some contents and in the midst when i say control l it clears the screen without having to clear what you type so far so you can continue your typing so this is the basics that i'm trying to tell you tell you about shell shortcuts but let me tell you if you just uh, search for the manual for read line library you might get more detailed information about the shell shortcuts in the next session i will tell you very quickly about the shell command syntax and also tell you about shell variables and very basic commands that are supported by the the bash shell so thank you very much so stay in touch for more updates on the shell the basics of bash shell session thank you very much